Hello everyone! Welcome to Happy Unboxing NYC. My name is Olina and today we're gonna make this adorable set um, which uh, uh, I made using the Bicon that we got in a bargain bit box in December 2021 and we're gonna make today this pretty earrings and uh, pendant. So um, I like these colors. It's really, uh, it's so gorgeous. It's so deep. It's so rich. I do like it. And I decided to combine it with the gold. And in my opinion, it look really, really good. It, this earrings probably too big for every day, but it can be really nice set for gift or for Christmas, Christmas holidays or for any other occasion. So if you're ready to bid with me today, let's get started. So for our today project, we're gonna need the following. Uh, we're gonna need the bicons that we got in a bargain bid box uh, this month. Um, also, we're gonna need 11-0 um, Miyuki seed beads, and this is gold galvanized. And again, this is 11-0. Also, for the project, we're gonna need for earrings, uh, earring hooks. Uh, you can use anything in a gold tone, whatever you prefer. We also need the chain, and again, this chain is a gold plated or gold fill, whatever you use. And also, we need one jump ring, or if you have a bail for the pendant, it will be even more pretty. But unfortunately, I don't have anything for now uh, in a gold tone, so I'm using just a simple uh, jump ring. Of course, we're gonna need our um, beading uh, needle, and I use the fire line. So uh, it's very important to string this uh, particular project on a fire line because in my opinion, it just uh, strong and it give uh, necessarily shape to the, uh, to the earrings and pendant. So I use my fire line. And uh, of course, we're gonna need our cutting plier or scissors. It doesn't matter, it's not necessarily supposed to be plier, something that can cut your uh, fire line. And we need a regular plier just to assemble earrings and uh, pendant. So um, for this project, the first we're gonna make this element and uh, we are gonna need three of them. But if you want to make just earrings, two will be enough or just pendant, one is enough. But for the whole set, obviously we need three of them. So let's get started. Uh, we need, uh, let me just organize a little bit my field. Uh, so I already pre-cut my fire line and uh, I already put uh, my first uh, bead and it's gonna be golden bead. So I already secured it in the needle. This is just my way, I know people do differently, but I do like this. I just put few notes and then I go with my needle through the first bead. So this is how I start almost all my uh, beading um, projects. So let's get started. We take bicon, put it on the on the thread, bead, one more bicon, another bead, bicon, and we put everything through the thread. So in our first row, we're supposed to have Actually, sorry, we're supposed to have four bicons. So one more bead and one more bicon. Okay, now uh, we have four seed beads and we have four bicons. And now we can just make a circle. So with our needle, we go again through the first bead and you can just do like that. You can put two or three, it doesn't matter as long as you have your circle this is fine now very important to go with the needle through the um 11 o seed bead so do like that and now we're gonna continue we take our bicon bead bicon bead and bicon. So here we have three bicons and two seed beads. And we string everything. 
and we go with the needle through this golden bead. We put needle like that and we continue. We go through the seed bead and bicon. So this is our second element. And now we just lead our needle like that. Okay, so this is what we have for now. And we keep going, we do the same. Since we already have a seed bead, we need, and we already, you see, it's like a wall. We have two seed beads and we have bicon. So basically to make another loop, we're gonna need bicon, seed bead, bicon, seed bead. So we, we, we need three bicons and seed beads in between. Let's just continue. So we take another bicon, we take another seed bead, bicon, seed bead, and a bicon. So here we have three bicons, two seed beads. And again, we make a loop to this way. So we take our needle and we go through seed bead, bicon, And since our thread is here, again, we lead it through seed bead, through bicon, and another seed bead like this. Here we go. Our first uh, row is ready. So now we lead our needle through bicon and seed bead this way. Now again, if we see our project, we're gonna move this, this direction. Again, we need bicon, seed bead, bicon, seed bead, bicon, because we're gonna go this way. So we take our bicon, seed bead, Bicon, seed bead, bicon. This is what we have. And we do the same thing. We go through the seed bead like this. This is our needle. And again, we lead our needle down here. And again, we go through the seed bead, bicon seed bead on the bottom right here. And again, bicon and seed bead. And this is where our needle is right now. Now we're going to continue moving this direction. And here we already have seed bit bicon, seed bit bicon, seed bit. So we have to take bicon, seed bit, and bicon. Look like that. And now we go to this direction, to this seed bit right here. And we just keep leading our needle through bicon, seed bead, bicon, right here. Again, we have to take our seed bead bicon seed bead this is our needle right now and here we have to close this row again the same thing we take bicon 
seed bead and bicon because here we already have two bicons and seed beads in between so we lead our needle again through the seed bead this is what we're supposed to have and basically now we have just lead our needle through the whole project seed i mean bicon seed bead Bicon seed bit, bicon seed bit right here, and we start our last last row. We will move in this direction. So again. Since we have just one bicon, we have to, to put three bicons and seed beads in between. So we take bicon, seed bead, bicon, seed bead, bicon. This is what we're supposed to have. And we make a loop going through the last seed bead right here. Now we have to lead our needle and again by seed bead and by seed bead. Two more times but here since we already have two bicons we just need two bicons we don't need three so we have one seed bead one more bicon that's it this is what we're supposed to have for now and we put our needle through this golden seed bead right here And this is what we have. And again, we go with our uh, needle through the whole project. I mean, through, through the whole uh, loop. So right now we're here. And again, bicon. Seed bit, bicon, seed bit. Right here. And we have to finish our um, our square. So we take our bicon, seed bead, and bicon. Look like that. And we go through the this eleven o. Here we go. So here our needle, seed bead, bicon, seed bead, bicon, seed bead. Now I just would recommend you to go again with your needle through the all in external row. So basically we do like that. Just to make it more, um, more firm, I would say. So just simply go through all bicons and all seed beads in our um, external row. And we turn it. And one more time.
So when you feel it's firm enough, this is the time to put loop. We take simply six beads and we make a loop with six beads like this. And I want to walk my needle one more time through everything. And again, I'm walking my needle through my first seed bead and I'm doing my loop. You can do it a few times until you feel it's secure enough. Now, to secure our work, I simply just walk my fire line through the beads as much as I can. It just can be some chaotic direction. It doesn't really matter. But the idea just to walk it like at least a few times. We can go here. We can go everywhere just to make sure that our project is secured enough. If it's too hard, don't try to push because it's still glass and bicon can simply crack. So uh, be really careful. When you feel like it's enough, it's time just simply to cut the knee to cut the thread. The same thing here. You just put your needle back and just walk a few times through the. Uh, through the pattern just to secure this part of thread and then just cut it out and we have to repeat this pattern three times so we have to have three things like that and when we're done with this it will be time to put our ear hooks and our uh, chain so to make this beauty we just simply take our ear hooks, depend what you use. Take your plier, open your hook. And put your earring inside and close it. Just make sure it's closed. And this is how it look like. So that's the same thing we're going to do uh, with second earring. And for necklace, we take our third um, pendant <laughs> and we simply put the jump ring, close it. Or bail, as I said, bail would be even more pretty, but unfortunately I don't have it right now. And just simply go with your chain or you can do whatever you want so this is our project for today and in my opinion it's gorgeous and it was number one of my uh tutorial it's gonna be number two and number three and what we're gonna do is gonna be a surprise so <laughs> i hope i will see you in my part two and three as well if you like this video please give me a thumbs up consider to subscribe to my channel and i will see you shortly in my next videos stay safe stay warm thank you for watching me bye bye